Steve Penley is a brilliant artist. He's been called the Da Vinci of the GOP. His works hang in Republican state offices all over the nation, and even in my own office, very proudly, I would say. Please welcome to the show for the very first time, the amazing Steve Penley. Thank Steve, you. Thanks. great having you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. You I love an applause. Well, you know what? Painters <laughs> don't often get applause. I never get a, uh, like applause like that in my studio. So. Well, that it, would be weird. By golly, Steve, it's high time you get some applause. These people are going to give it to you. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a narcissist, so I like that kind of thing. <laughs> I don't ever <laughs> think I can remember an artist whose works just captured the imagination of so many American patriots. I don't want to make it like... It gets me in trouble, too. I bet it does. Yeah. You know, you're one of the most conservative people that I think probably breathes today. Right. But your artwork transcends your own politics in that it's really about America. It and that's what it is. Whenever, whenever I talk to people on left or right about my work, I'm trying to, you know, what I always say, reconstruct the deconstructed America. And it doesn't, I'm not ever trying to attack anybody on e of any political stand. Well, I am too. <laughs> But I try to do it nicely. But I, uh, you know, the worst thing, if I'm giving speeches or if I'm um, doing anything publicly, the last thing I want to do is offend somebody. Yeah. But I, I would like to persuade, but, you know, jamming my opinions down somebody's throat will never change anybody's mind. But I do love my country, and every day that we spend in America is like paradise. Yeah. And I can't believe that people don't recognize that. But thank you. It's true. Thanks. Thanks. And, and that's what I think endears all of us about your artwork. Every piece that I've seen of you, I just feel like it's it's there's something attractive. Well, you know what it is. It's not what me, is it? it's not my work or my talent or, or or whatever. It's that I share a common interest with you and people like us. Mm. You know, and and people like this, and I, I share common experiences. And these are all all these subjects are common experiences that we all share. And sometimes we put different um, tags on, on each subject in our brains, but still, it's a common experience we share as Americans. And so it's not so much that I'm that good, it's that we all share the same you know, interest. And, we, and these are things that remind us about why we're here, what, what we should be doing, and, and what a great country this is, and how thankful we should be. You know, so. Well, but you make us more thankful by the way that you express the things that really depict America. Did you start painting when you were very small? When did this all start? When I did, did you know you had a gift? You know, I'm not usually this positive unless I'm on television. <laughs> if I'm on television, I'm a very positive thinker, yeah. <laughs> you know, and all that stuff. But it, when I'm at home, I'm just grouchy. I'm like Archie Bunker, <laughs> you know, but um, just complaining about everything. But no, I started when I was, uh, um, as long as I can remember, my first memory of being an artist is no memory at all. I can't remember it. But it's, I did a, a barn down my parents' hallway with every animal, scribbled with carry on, and I was so proud of myself, they say. <laughs> and, but, this was not an authorized uh, art uh, No, it wasn't unauthorized. There. It was street art <laughs> in the hallway, inside, yeah. inside the house. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure that went over real well with your parents, and they said, oh, we have a budding artist in our home. I got the beating of lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> but my Back gosh, in the days when they did it. Look you know? what it's turned into. You're one of the most successful artists alive in this country. By what definition? Well, I mean, you are beloved. Your artwork is some of the most Where's the valued. Money? Where's the money? I don't know, but everyone tells me that when they try to buy one of your paintings, they have to sell a kidney to get it because it's so valuable. I'm kind of lazy, too, sometimes. <laughs> All right, you brought some of your artwork, and I'm going to take a look at some of these. So let's look over here. We got one. I got Reagan right, right there. He's my hero, you know, and I, I think he's one of the greatest presidents, of course. Yes. Because it's obvious. And, and, and I, uh, you know, I hate to be so gung-ho, jingoistic, but, you know, conservative sounding, but, I mean, I, I, you can't help but love the guy. And if you, somebody that thinks like we do, yeah. I mean, you can't, how do you not love Ronald Reagan? And what he really stood for, it's, you know, I was surfing Google the other day, looking at images of Reagan, because I'm always trying to find these photographs I've never seen before. But while I'm looking at it, I see all these articles by, you know, all these magazines from the major you know, mainstream magazines trying to reconstruct Reagan as being really a leftist that was trying to, you know, compromise mm -hmm. and, 
he, he was basically just in the Republican Party to all kinds of different, they're trying to make Reagan something he wasn't. Reagan believed what he was saying and he really was a conservative. I mean, he had to make a lot of compromises like any president would. Sure. I mean, but you know, I'm no one to give people a historic, historic lesson about politics or, you know, anything like that. But I mean, I'm just saying as an image, to me, he represents everything great about this country. I, I agree with you. And this speaking will get me in trouble saying this on TV. Speaking of great things about this country, the next one is maybe one of my well, very favorites of all. This is the pinnacle of all success of all mankind. The moon landing was that moment where really America, and I hate to be, you know, put down everybody else, but we're so much better than everybody else. I don't even argue that point. I uh, agree. This and, is uh, the greatest country on I, God's I still green don't, earth. I don't see Putin with any man planting a flag on the moon. I mean, yeah. there's no Chinese guy up there planting a flag. They did it with a robot, you know, but not, it's like one of those little robots and it's a, not even a good looking flag. Yeah. So I don't give them credit. Your so next I, piece is the, uh, I don't like the dollar, reference. which uh, we, we need one that size now, given with inflation, uh, for it, it to be worth a dollar anymore. I well, you got to go crypto or something, you know, but <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when the thing about the dollar though, it represents everything good and bad and you can project whatever. You know, with, with a lot of these icons, we project our values and our experiences onto these icons and they can mean so many different things to so many different people and sometimes people have a very scary, you know, uh, take on what these icons mean to them. There's no one, and I mean no one, doing the kind of absolutely inspirational artwork like Steve Penley. There's a few I know ones. my family. There's, no, no one a, is, um, I, I'm serious. I don't know of anybody who's doing it like that. But they're all kept down by the IRS. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, let's keep them that way because yeah. we want you to stay where exactly. you are. Now, for our audience, if you want to see more of Steve Penley's artwork and maybe buy some for yourself, we got links to all of it on our website at Huckabee.tv, and it is spectacular. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.